that decoy bag? Yeah, we were... Oh, good to go? Yep. How are you feeling today? Feeling good. Feeling real good. Dude, you like the vest? Yeah, those are sweet. Isn't it sweet, dude? Dude, they're nice. They're thin. Freaking amazing. Um, wanted to let you guys know all the, the new products at Ducks are all available. Duckswaterfowl.com. Use code BOB at checkout uh, to save yourself some money. Uh, we got a lot of new stuff over there. A lot of new calls, hats, uh, coats, old school hoodies, thermals, everything. But here we are, uh, headed into the field. I already dropped all the clients out there. Uh, we have 11 shooters today, uh, 11 clients. We have a group of seven, and uh, we have a group of four. And they're both returning clients. Last year, Troy, there was only two of them that came from California. Yep. And then Evan, I know there was for sure two of them. Two, I think yeah. there's just two. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Evan brought seven total, and uh, Troy brought four. Awesome returning clients. So uh, we're gonna have a bunch of fun. Uh, big shout out to Gage that found this field yesterday. Never hunted this field. Uh, it's really rough going in here because the farmer just strip tilled it. And uh, other than that, it's a corn field, and they're loving it. There was like 7,000 lessers in here yesterday. Uh-oh. And not a speck and not a snow. Really? Yeah. Huh. So if it goes right, it should be good. We have a southwest wind at almost nothing. So uh, we're just going to sit up so we don't have to look into the sun and pray for the best. I think wind's like 5 to 9. So when it says 5 to 9, it's not actually 5 to 9 constantly. So I'm going to shut up. Let's roll. Where are you from? What's your name? Uh, my name is Kyle Stinko. I'm from uh, uh, Metro Detroit area, so from Michigan. What uh, What's the difference? You So you were here last year? Yes, sir. And what is the difference with Kansas and Michigan? Uh, just the volume of birds. Uh, the time out here is just, it, it's awesome to see the amount of birds working and, and hunting in the fields that we just don't have that same quality of, of hunting in the state of Michigan. It's different. You guys shoot big geese there too, right? Yeah. Not not little no little geese at all or no little geese at all. So the lessers are a cool experience. How many uh you brought what five new guys this year that were yep. here last year? Yep, so two uh two of us returned and then uh the others couldn't come uh make it back this year due to some vacation planning, so we bought five new ones. So Excited for them to be able to experience it for the first time today. Perfect. What's your name? Where are you from? Troy Pearson, California. Second season coming back to Sand Hill Flyway. So first morning, real real excited about it. You brought two more people this year? Yeah, uh, a total of three. Three? Yeah. Three one, more. Or one, one more. Other, one other Californian, two Virginians. So okay, sweet. Covering the map. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, what's the difference, biggest difference from here in California? For birds, hunting wise. The geese, we don't see this many geese, especially like I'm, I'm on the coast. So it's a lot of ducks. You might see some specks and snows, but you don't see any lessers like this and the, just the sheer amount. It's uh, it's amazing to see. Seems like that's why everybody's here is yeah. for the lessers. Yep, yep. Smooth, shoot those small pandas, you know? Yep. Yeah. Is this the biggest spread of the year? Uh, Dark spread. Uh, full bodies and socks for sure. Yeah. Dark spread, yeah. For sure, yeah. dark spread. With the yeah. ones when we hunted out west was pretty good size. Yeah, the only thing we did different was what twenty five dozen more full bodies. No, just oh, no. half of that. So like yeah, this is how many how many full bodies? Is this like 35? 35, 35. 35. 35 dozen full bodies. How many socks? Like seventy dozen, sixty dozen socks. Seventy or eighty. And then uh, what? Thirty dozen, twenty dozen cellos. So add that up. I think it's the biggest dark one. I don't know, one hundred and twenty. You tell me. Last so, minute adjustments. Every time. Fixing decoys, making sure they're pretty. Uh, what did we add up? Is that? 120 dozen. 120 dozen, so that's 1,400, right? Something like that, yeah. I didn't Close. get out my calculator. That was good, I think you're right. Dude, that would, uh, that's a lot of decoys in a morning Canada goose hunt. Yeah, it is. Not being a These guys were good, hunt. though. Yeah, they kicked But When you have this much help, you know that they're going to want to help anyway, so you just go big, you know. Different if you can't really do this when you have six clients. Yeah. We wouldn't have enough help. But would it take us to get that up? Probably 
Uh, it's almost shooting light. Uh, it took us right at an hour and 10 minutes, probably. Yeah. Something like that for 1,400 decoys. Biggest uh, spread of the year so far, and it's beautiful. All you see is black, white cheek patches everywhere. Um, this don't work. I don't know what else to do, dude. <laughs> All right, so yesterday, uh, it's the next day after the hunt here. Uh, yesterday was tough. We had that huge, massive spin. Uh, way, way more, 80% more specs than what we saw the day before. And the specs here this year, they're just horrible. Especially if you get a bunch of them together. Horrible. Small groups, not so bad. Big groups. I can't believe we actually got them to spin that good yesterday. Yeah. I mean, they spun zero wind almost. So today. Uh, we got a whole different field, whole nother area. 45 minutes away from the house and uh, we opted to get out of the decoys today because there's zero wind the wind goes from southwest at 5 at 8 o'clock in the morning to north by 10 o'clock at 5 so it's literally gonna be nothing and it's just gonna be shifting so uh, the hide wait till P Diddy shows you the hide best hide in a long time greasy you cannot see the a-frames they're down in the ground uh, but the full body spread is amazing um, yesterday the guys went, we got them on a uh, pheasant hunt for the evening, didn't go so well, uh, not a lot of birds, too warm, they flushed way out in front of them, but uh, they got to do something, so today is a big sin, big decoy spread, pretty, and I hope it works dude. Me too. The geese have not been nice, I'll just be very honest. Um, <laughs> They've been so mean that I went and got lost yesterday and i don't scout that much but i wanted to find some ducks yeah you took a huge trip out east and um long story short this warm weather just makes these geese really hard they're not hungry they're not vulnerable they haven't been sitting on water all night at 20 degrees with a wind it's been freaking they, 45 all night with no wind and then 75 the next day we have we've had record temps <clears throat> oh, sorry i'm burping that energy drink got to <laughs> we've had 70 degree days for the last week and then it's just been we need cold yep. next week wind and cold shows up so thank the and it lord. looks yeah thank the lord because the weather has really been uh giving us a good kick in the rear so everybody do us a favor smash that thumbs up button for a good luck charm because we need it we want it we need a uh we need a rally for the boys mm -hmm. they need a good rally today man absolutely let's give her a go <laughs> It's already turning out better than yesterday. Oh yeah. Way better. Uh, that's the second shot of the day. They just dropped five. That's six in the bag so far, baby. Better than yesterday. Full body. <laughs> Shoot the spec, guys. Shooting. Nice shot. That's it. Oh. Well, actually, whoever shot first killed it. Yeah, whoever I shot first, it died. Did you? Yeah. Bandit spec. Looks decent.
up. That's good. a good one. Yeah, yeah. That was awesome. Bandits is back. We didn't get one of them last year. No, we didn't. What are you thinking? What are you looking for? Standard, Hell yeah. Standard spec. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Doesn't give I'm guessing thing. it's six years old. Yeah. That's I, that's my guess. It's a thick one. Yeah, she's nice. Good color. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful bars on them. <laughs> Guys, shoot him! Shoot him right there! Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I took, dude, I took that. Dude, this duck's vest, the old school, it's so warm, it's crazy. Uh, I'm worn out. I am worn out, actually. Thanks for asking. <laughs> shoot him, guys! Shoot that one up top. Shoot the three guys. Go up, go up. Right. One on the right. Boy, howdy. <laughs> it's fun. I'm yeah. having I'm so hot. This is the HD heavy duty thermal hoodie, and dude, they are way warmer than mm -hmm. the regular thermals. Um, man, so like I said this morning, the wind was going to be our only issue. The hide's great, which we really haven't shown you yet. Haven't walked you through the spread, which we will. Other than that, the wind is doing exactly like I said. It was perfect this morning out of the north, like five, seven mile an hour, and then okay. it slowly turned. Ooh, try these over the top, guys, right here. Shoot him! Got one. Okay. Shoot the four guys front. That was good. Four pack, dude. So when they came, we backed way off the calling like that, and they just kept calling. When they get close, being out of the decoys, the sound's coming over here. So they're wanting to fly over the over the blind and try to see where the sound's coming from. So I think if we just discover the tactic, tactic, call hard until they get what 70 yards out. Yeah. Then not shut up, but just go to Gerald calling by himself. Sure. As you can see, go ahead and pan around, show them where we're at. This is the kill here. hole where we are. Here. 35 dozen, spread out real nice. Real nice, not tight today, and I think it's uh, I think it's really helping. Uh, we're what, 15 yards uh, away from the edge of the decoys. That there was probably what a 30-yard shot. Yeah. They do that, man. That was perfect. <laughs> So, uh, when, the, when the wind actually goes out of south, which is backwards, because we're looking south, it actually works a little better, because they float right over the top of the blind. <laughs> you guys, yep. top! Okay. 
Shoot him, guys. Mm -hmm. What's your uh, what's your guess on age five? You're going five? Five or six? Yeah, I said six. That's oh. honker. Sound like honker's coming. Uh, it may not even be that old. <coughs> Let's see. Stick. Stay tuned. Shoot that single, guys. Out front. Out front. <laughs> Everybody's behind you. That's it. God. Hey, do you want to see the band? Yeah, hold them upside down from there. Yeah. Troy Pearson, Morgan Hill, California. Uh, shot my first band today. Happened to be a spec too. It's two years old uh, from Yukon, Alaska. It's probably one of my most memorable hunts to date. You gonna uh, mount him with the band? Oh yeah. Oh, Are yeah. you gonna do? You're probably gonna have to do a, a dead hang because his wing is broken. Yeah. But yeah. It still looks sweet because you can hey. see the band on yeah. there so well. He's got a pr pretty front too, you know. Yeah. So it's gonna make a good mount. My That's wife's cool. gonna love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, back home. Good hunt. Really good hunt. Ah, <sighs> but a little bit of recap of the hunt. You know, I always like to come home, give my two cents. Um, thank goodness. Thank goodness for the hunt. Uh, as far as the spec goes, uh, y'all heard it from Yukon, Alaska. That's unreal. Bodie's going crazy behind me. Come here, bub. Uh, so yesterday's hunt didn't go as planned. All the birds came at once. It was very warm. Uh, and then today, A-frame, that A-frame was gone. I think the hide really, really helped. Here's my two cents on the whole hunt. There was hardly any wind, and when there was wind, it would be out of the southwest at five, and then it'd go out of the northwest at five. We were set up for a northwest wind. It seemed like, uh, it didn't seem like, I can guarantee you, when it went to a reverse wind in our face, the birds had to sit up over the top of us. So that's where we shot over the top a bunch. That's how we shot most of the birds. So the theory of always sit up with the wind to your back if you got a good hide like that, no tall trees, they'll probably circle right over the top of you, and it's a really close shot. So, just my two cents. I, I think it really helped us, but drop a comment down below and let me know. I mean, good shooting and abandoned spec. Here in Kansas, you always have to appreciate a band in general, but abandoned spec, man, we don't get them very often. But guys, uh, I hope you guys are getting out there having fun hunting enjoying why the season's here because you know what before we before we know it, it'll be summer again and i'll be complaining like always because i'm hot putting oakley's little bird leg braces on mm -hmm. getting the robo legs on so she robo can play oh robo girl i let her out in the field this morning and she thought that was the coolest thing she thought she was gonna go hunting this morning yeah she was pretty mad at dad when i put her back in the pickup <laughs> hi oakley girl you're a sweet girl she really is a sweet girl but again, thank you all for being here. If you have not subscribed uh, to P. Diddy's and I's Patreon, it's not just Patreon, it's our podcast. We get raw over there, we have a lot of fun, we get to talk about whatever we want. Go check it out. Greatly appreciate it, and it's very entertaining. Seems like everybody that's subscribed is still around, so we're, going, uh, we're coming up on a year of the podcast being active, so you guys got to check it out. A lot of good information over there, a lot of laughing, a lot of guy stuff but thank you all for being here i got to uh give this camera to old p diddy so he can edit this bad boy she's all yours p diddy take her to your lair whip this bad boy up nothing to say. yeah no <laughs> he was looking at me <laughs> thank you guys we'll see you on the next one